Today we are going to learn about try catch execution and how to log the errors. So many of them will be confused between what is the difference between if else and try catch. Even uh, myself, I was confused initially. Why are we using try catch? So we'll create a problem and we'll try to learn what is try catch. If we directly learn what is try catch, we'll not be able to understand. We'll create one problem and we'll try to solve it with try catch. Okay. We'll go to uh, uh, Math Connect. And over here, I created a channel name as Try Catch Errors. You can name it as whatever you want. And before uh, doing the session, I want to remove all the messages so nobody will be confused. R E M O V E L L. Okay, remove all, clear the server log. Perfect. We'll go to channels, Try Catch Errors. In the source, I want to apply one filter. So the filter now is empty. So what I want to do, I want to use some basic if else statement. And try to see how this is going to execute so this is a statement which I wanted to use and uh, don't get confused I'll explain everything and even uh, in the process I'll uh, even paste this code in the github so you can practice whenever you want okay so what I'm doing I'm creating a variable known as msh3 so I just dragged it from here you shouldn't even get confused on this as you are attending my previous sessions I just dragged it from here so the same one uh, which it is here that looks good right perfect now I, I created a if statement stating if msh3 is equal to abc okay logger dot info the value of msh3 is apple oh sorry I'll do something like this okay I want my msh3 uh, value should be apple for example if I go over here you can see uh, the msh3 is apple so I'm using this tool I'll go to Math Connect again. So I created this, and if that is the case, it should return true. When it is true, automatically uh, the filter, uh, the message will pass from the filter to the destination. If it is false, it will not fall. So I just create a simple if statement. Don't get confused. Even I am using the logger info dot statement on how to uh, use this logger. So it will uh, even present in the server log. What I'll do for our understanding. I'll copy this in our one note and we'll keep on comparing okay what's actually running inside this is one statement this is one statement now we'll go back we'll save the changes and deploy this okay the server log is clear you can see over here even the message uh, everything is zero I'll directly copy this and paste it over there and you can see my MSS 3 is Apple perfect right I'll send the message and I'll process it so now what you should see you can see uh, inside the server log the value of MH3 is Apple so this code is nothing but the logger.info is logging the information over here in the log that looks good and over here you can see the message has been sent and transformed from the filter that is nothing but this Apple is matching this particular value over here so automatically the message has been sent so this uh, if statement is working fine and even we got this value MSS3 is Apple in the logger uh, over here that looks good right the value of MSS3 is Apple perfect what we'll do we'll try to see if this particular statement is working the value of MSS3 is not equal to Apple okay and we'll uh, give some other value not Apple so what I'll do I'll go here I'll give some random numbers inside it and I'll copy this and I'll try to paste it over here send message run see I gave some random value not Apple I'll process this and refresh you can see the logger.info shows the value of MSS3 is not equal to Apple means over here the MSS3 value is not equal to Apple and we had written false right so when it will come to false the filter will not execute so the message will be filtered out automatically so I'll go here and I'll check whether it's filtered out perfect this has been filtered out now we understood how this particular logic works okay if statement works again it will come to else statement if the statement is true uh, the message will run and go to destination if it's false it will not go till here we are very very good now I'll write some code over here as in the real stages we are going to write very very big code and lengthy codes it will be confusing what I'll do I'll change this value to msh4 we have not created this variable 
and I'll change this value to MSH4. Okay, by mistake. And I'll go, I'll see the changes, and I'll deploy it. Everything is perfect. We are going to send some message. Okay. Uh, uh, for your understanding, what I'll do, we I'm going to send the already sent message. Okay. I'll reprocess it, and you can see it is Apple. It should go through. When I do it, so it says error. So when I go to dashboard, there is nothing over here to understand. So what I do, I want to add a try catch exception. So this is a basic syntax error which we are trying to do over here, but in real time uh, it caused a lot of problems. So I'll go to source so here, edit filter, and I'll add all this into one of the try exemption and I'll create another catch exemption. So what I'll do, I'll copy this. I'll have the same code here inside in the try from here to here, you can see. And after that, from here to here, inside the try and after that I throw an error, catch, catch error. So if this code is not executed in case of any syntax error or any runtime error or any other uh, errors when the code is trying to execute, that errors will be thrown up here. This statement will be executed. And here you can see I gave logger.info syntax error occurred and I written as false. So we'll do once again. I'll go back, I'll save the changes, I'll deploy it. Now what I'll do, I'll reprocess the error out message. I'll reprocess the message. That's perfect. Even this should this is filtered now because it didn't throw any error. You should note this down. This is filtered. That's not a problem for us. The most important thing is like here you can see the value of MHS is not equal to Apple. That's good. So what we are missing over here is right. We should make sure that we are going to give some exemption like a smaller over here. I'll go to source again, filter. I'll give this as MSH4. So automatically this should error out now and it will come to this exemption and throw this logger.info syntax error. For our understanding, I'll copy this in our one node. Okay, this is our new code. And this is what we are looking for. I'll bold it out. Perfect, it should come here and throw this error. Now I'll go, I'll save the changes. I'll deploy it and I'll run this out. Reprocess message, perfect. Yeah, this has been filtered out because the condition is false over here. It got automatically filtered out. Now in the dashboard, you can see syntax error occurred. MSH4 is not defined. So we already gave the syntax error over here MSH because MSH4 was not defined. So that's how we are going to tackle with multiple errors. So if there was no catch a statement over here, we would not be able to know like whether it was a syntax error or any type of error. So in a basic example, we'll not be able to find how deep uh, the code is going to run in real time. But in the simple example, we'll understand to know how to crack the like difficult codes. So here the error was MSH4. The variable is not defined. Generally, we call it as uh, undefined variable error. So it can be runtime error. For example, even you, you can see I didn't give any semicolon over here, but uh, the uh, good thing or a bad thing with the Merth Connect is it's not uh, even checking whether uh, we have semicolons or not. So even if you don't give semicolons, that's not a matter with uh, Merth. So you can even do one small test again. I'll uh, give it as MSS3 is equal to ABC and we'll run it whether we, it is giving error or not. It is not, it should not give any error. Okay, so that's how uh, we use catch method. I'll again resend this filter message I process this message click OK search this has been filtered because okay the name is Apple that's good then now uh, my curiosity is like why it has been filtered what I'll do I won't waste my time I go to dashboard and see the value of MS3 is not equal to Apple so there is something which went over here so now we'll troubleshoot it the more the errors will solve the more understanding we'll have so you can see the value of 
MSS3 is Apple, but what went wrong? We should go back to our channel. Sorry, we'll go back to our channel source filter over here. You can see, you can see MSS3 is 3.1 and it is ABC over here. So we need to change it to Apple. So that's how uh, small mistakes will uh, create a lot of problems. Now it should uh, process what I'll do. I'll just reprocess the same message. I'll save the changes. I'll deploy it and I'll go to dashboard and I'll reprocess. It should go through reprocess the message. So before that, you can understand the execution was in this particular loop. The MSS3 is not equal to Apple and it returned false. Now it will come to this loop as I change the code to Apple and it, it should go through because it is true over here. So now I'll resend this. I'll search. It went through. That's perfect. And you can even you can see MSS3 is equal to Apple. That's how you should learn the try catch exemptions. We are going to try more complicated complicated uh, try catch methods on how we are going to use. Uh, in a simple way to remember what is try catch. For example, in the if statement, it will execute something. If it is not possible, it's going to else statement. But in the try statement, it is trying to execute a block of code. But if there are errors, which is not trying to execute, for example, syntax errors, they're like multiple errors, it will come to try catch. So you can do like this. For example, even in the if statement, uh, for example, if this is a try statement, you can use if else inside it, again, go for catch okay even inside the catch again you can use uh, for different type of errors if and else or while whatever it is so so try catch is little, has a scope of little bit bigger than if else if you ask me and if there is a scope even you can do inside the if statement also you can use try catch so there are a lot of things uh, we can use in a multiple ways but if you ask me what is for try catch method if there are any errors Try catch mirror is uh, very helpful to show it and like uh, use it. Thank you.